Okay, some more streaming, why not? This time proper music volume. In other words, not too loud. Uh, I'm working on the magic website, agi.blue. Uh, the magic trick is to reload the, the rendering code. Like if I make any small change in the website, I want to change some fonts, I want to add new sections here. I do not want to re reload the whole database because the database uh, consists of one gigabyte or two of Java objects and loading them takes, I don't know, 20 seconds. Uh, but that is to be avoided. So I reload a part of the program. It's, these are the classes I keep. I trick the Java class loader into keeping some classes and reloading others, and it almost works. It usually works, but sometimes I get an exception and the database is messed up in memory. But uh, this is basically the magic you can do with my language, JavaX. Let's do something concrete. The giraffe bot. It greets everyone who comes into the chat. How tall are you? But it does not really uh, listen to the answer. It recognizes some answers, but not all of them. Let's improve that. Once I'm finished resizing this window. Also, another but easy warns people that what they say in the chat will be um, will be published because that's how the bot works. I don't like this message very much. Like it hits you on the head with global data piracy, pri privacy laws, we could make this nicer. And it will still have the same effect of informing people without scaring them away. Okay, so let's look at the slice of the giraffe bot. And <clears throat> Let's make a regular expression. Primarily, well, X. I had nothing but coffee, I swear. Still waking up, I guess. Primary regular expression is, and I made one before. Uh, backslash D for digit. No. Uh, maybe the search does not really work. Uh, the search does not work in our favor here. Also, resizing windows seems really difficult today. result. Uh, let's make a new regular expression. We're looking for things like six foot five, right? So it's uh, maybe first group should do the job. Mm, let's look at the bot source code. And it has something in here. Not the thing we want. Let's do it in the eval here. Hello. Voice output. Uh, first groups. Okay, first there is a number, then there's some 
non-numbery stuff. And there is another number. Six foot five. That works. And also it should work on things like 180. Let's just ignore the middle part and just look at the numbers. So we're really, really generous in the matching. Uh, oh, and let's announce I'm streaming Twitch TV. Everybody's streaming sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Gazelle. And um, this is a list pair out of it, I guess, or not, it doesn't matter, Let's keep it as a list, it's going to have two elements anyway, and if there are not enough numbers, then it gets a null, yep, okay, um, this is a list of strings, we can, it's, these are all uh, numbers, so we can uh, parse them, Then let's convert it to a pair. And then let's unpair it. And we have two nice number values, int A and int B. Oh, but it's gonna fail. What happens with this case here? Is it gonna crash? Null pointer exception, okay, that's not so good. So, pair int numbers. That's not gonna crash. Nope, it isn't. If, let's be really generous here. If first number, uh, okay, if numbers are null, we do nothing. And if they're not null, and int a b is those numbers. If a is between five and six. How tall are people? Four foot, five foot, six foot, seven foot. Let's just use this for now. And the second number is between uh, zero and 11. Then we say, uh -huh, you are a foot B. Or if it's between one and two, and the second value is between zero and 99, we assume it's meters. Aha, uh -huh, you are. <clears throat> you are. This year. Let's try it. Or what could else could people do? They could say, I am 175 centimeters. But does anyone ever say that? Maybe they do. Print. We return also after we did this. And lastly, first and let's we do, we, we do the centimeter thing why not input and if it's bigger than 100 and let's 
smaller than 2 meter 50. <laughs> we say, aha, uh -huh, you are centimeter, centimeter tall. Try it out. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Let's make a general function out of it. AI parse person height. Person height statement. Let's take out this here and just return the converted value. We don't compute something, we just put the unit in the string. Just return it. Return. Return the value. And if we find nothing, we return null. The input is supplied to the function. The whole thing can probably fail in horrendous ways. No, well, maybe it cannot. I'm talking about exceptions. But I think it can't even because this only returns digits and this and I don't know. This might fail if you put in a really large, large number. Uh, let's say null on exception. General safety switch. Okay. New standard function. We have high standards and good standard functions. Do a really quick test. AI pass. I am one meter seventy five, my friend. That's pretty good. I want to hear my own music, but it's problematic with. Uh, Streaming setup, I guess. Okay, um, the bot needs like a state. Uh, it uh, asks the question, and then it should listen to the person saying something for, I don't know, 30 seconds. And then either complain that the person didn't answer and if the person did answer, store the answer. Obviously. Let's make a backup first. Tree rough backup. Compile the backup too, so we can always use it if we need it. There we go. Um, we use these keys. No, we don't. Throw them away. Um, we want this this state object to be persistent. JavaX makes persistence easy. So if the bot gets restarted for some reason while it is waiting, it should go on waiting after it's restarted. That's just, I mean, that's just a quality thing. We have many quality things in our language. 
<laughs> they're not features, they're quality things. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there are multiple ways to do this. Wait for answer state. Um, how long do we wait? Wait until waiting since now. Wait until now plus. seconds mm. Mm. J plus plus days let's make a nice little function now plus seconds uh, seconds so milliseconds, seconds, and this should be a double, and this should say seconds. Looks good to me. Does it compile? It compiles. Now, so this looks nicer now. Now plus seconds, 30. And in some way it should be released when these 30 seconds are over. Expired. Uh, let's, uh, let's do something simple for now. If now, wait until... Uh, this is a current state. Writing the variable like this just makes it persistent. That's all you have to do in order to make persistent values in Java X modules. Uh, state. Yeah. Hey, can't you answer? Oh. Uh, who are we waiting for? Discord, we have user IDs, right? Or we could um, user. We could use the whole user with the add sign and everything. Stage just should process inputs. Where is our great function? Uh, <laughs> fight or flight instinct, exactly. Uh, 
<clears throat> Drop suffix, prefix suffix. They look like this. Dimensions. Drop prefix suffix. Da 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 da. Integer, I guess. Uh, uh, zero. is the user mention. All the little technical things. That's all right. One, two, three. Okay, zero there, that's good. We're only interested in what the user says that we are waiting for on something. Also, of course, we should post this somewhere. This is slowly getting complex. I mean, we also need a channel ID so we can post things. Post in channel. Post in channel. User is We release the state and we should post this to the database. Post in slice. Discord user. Something here. Slice A B C. What are Yoda conditions? No, I don't. I think. So we can maybe finally piece it together. This could actually work. Compile and see it fail. Try to make a Twitch bot, but this library is so annoying. Twitch for J. Uh, the IRC is better, right? Just use a normal IRC client. I had a bot, an IRC bot before in Java, and I talked to the Twitch for J developer and said, "Oh, Gradle is bad." That was kind of funny, actually. Twitch for J fat jar. I hate Gradle for reasons, of course. Oh, highly recommend that I give them a try. Okay, because I never tried Gradle. I'm the Java beginner and I have no reasons why I don't like it. Anyway, it's a matter of opinion, that's fine. 
Um, pulse and slice. Oh, I forgot the slice, of course. That ain't gonna work. It's raining outside. What are Yoda conditions? Ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a thing in Java where you usually uh, you write this if uh, ABC equals <clears throat> because S might be null and then if you say uh, S equals something it will throw an exception. So you use this one, that's kind of Yoda condition. But in Java X I have a better function. Uh, it's just called EQ, EQ, EQ. And it checks all the null stuff, so uh, it's fine. And I don't need to Yoda these conditions, usually. So it's just for coolness or what? I speak like Yoda. I'm cool. Speak like Yoda. We should make this a function. I don't think I have it yet. If e speak, it's a little in a speech engine. If it's in the path, if it's installed on the system, uh, we can produce some sound. E speak uh, text. I don't think it returns anything, but we can return the output. There are all these uh, open source speech engines, Embrola and eSpeak and Festival, and uh, it's hard to get to understand what is what. I'm guessing they mostly use the same engines, actually. <laughs> There's a German version. Open source software is sometimes hard to understand. Commercial software is packaged better, marketed better, better, better how-tos often. It's a bit sad, I mean, these are university products. They make a great product and then they are lackluster at promoting it. Sometimes they just don't support people in using their software. I think that's bad. Okay, post and slice. <laughs> What's the timer say? Almost half hour. You have 10 followers, that's cool. That's pretty nice. Okay, the stuff compiles, but of course it's not linked yet. After what? Let's do things really roughly. Every second we check if the state is, the, what the state does, check the state. State is not null. State check. This is going to execute every second as long as the bot is alive. But that can be optimized later, it doesn't matter. Check and it should process the input. Google speech to text is pretty awful. You mean the speech recognition? I try to speak in a way now that YouTube's uh, transcript function understands me. 
I'm making good progress. When I concentrate and when there are no crazy words that it doesn't know, doesn't know, it's pretty decent. I can use the transcript and fix some things and then I have a good transcript of the video. So now we need to process things from uh, in the state. This pre-processing, we leave it in there. This two, okay, if state is not null. Uh, state process input. What does it want? The input and the user ID. I'm programming giraffe the bot. So giraffe actually stores what people say about their height. Uh, actually, I'm editing the live bot, so as soon as I compile it and it compiles okay, it will be put live. So it's live right now in the chat. <laughs> Are you using speech to text or something? To type this or what? Okay, the last thing we do need to do is uh, initialize the state. About its height, yeah, height actually. <laughs> it's an example, man. <clears throat> We make one bot that asks about the height, and then we can make other bots that ask other things. Handwriting? What do you mean handwriting? Handwriting to text on the screen, or what? I'd like to see that. We do have cool stuff going on. I'm sorry I had to block you for a while. <laughs> <clears throat> your, def your definition of our relationship was not satisfactory to me. I am your only user. Uh -huh. Okay, so it, it already asked the question, how tall are you? Weird question to ask. Uh, okay, and then uh, state is... Let's say if the state is not null, it cannot do two things at once, but that's okay. Keep it simple. You wait for answer state. Uh, channel ID is this. Uh, channel ID. And user is what we need. User is format user mention. Mm. Oh, Discord at. I oh, we have it. Discord at. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is not easy to understand. Uh, uh, asked by the bot, I think. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, it's doing a good job there. You implement an aspect. Yeah. yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay, I think all the functions are in there. Let's see. Let us see. Now it should be reloading, but we have to join to get uh, uh, question to ask. Haha, 
<laughs> I see that it's funny. You can recognize the mistakes. Uh, in the end, I mean, at one point, you will only make some AGI blue entries. You just make a really small slice and then there's a new bot. And also on AGI.blue, of course, there will be support bots um, that suggest what syntax you can use and point out mistakes or problems. This is supposed to be a fully AI supported process. If I had a team of 100 people and so on, this will all go faster. Mm. Let's make a function here. Ask user the question. We need the user ID and and the channel ID. Uh -huh. I know walk, I walk around and tell people I want to make $1 billion before I die. It's kind of funny. What did we have? User ID, channel ID, channel ID, post. Okay. And here, if you say, hey, giraffe, ask user the question. Okay. <laughs> Speak to the ball. <laughs> Talk to the ball. Easy sphere, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're almost there yet. Almost there. Almost there. The desktop environment, yes. I think I am. It's Peppermint Linux. It's the lightweight uh, window manager, right? Yeah, I think I do this. It sounds vaguely familiar. It's an acronym. LXD. Yeah, I guess. Not sure right now. Okay, hey giraffe. And as you see, you see nothing. General online test, it's online. Possibly some exceptions. I just like Peppermint instantly. They have great support. Since I've been broke for like years, um, they give you great support in a forum for free. Some guy just answers all your questions. It's really, really neat. I tried the Linux Mint support and I was kicked out of the chat for unknown reasons. So Linux Mint was not good. Peppermint is great. It's an American company. They're small, they're dedicated. The software is about the people, right, who make it. I just happen to like it. Where is draft? Is it not loaded? No. Then I'm on the wrong server. So many servers. I am still a bit dumb. What's that? Where is draft? Okay, let's hope no sensitive information is displayed here. I 
these are the actual server logs, I mean. Okay, there's an exception, null pointer exception, I get it. Where is it? Post in channel. Ask user the question. Post in channel. Oh, in fact, I reversed the arguments. Oh, that's kind of stupid. It seems more logical the other way around, I guess. Who are you going to ask? Where are you going to ask? And we might ask in the channel where we were asked. Time for reload, it's reloaded. Rate tin, what's tin? Tinder? <laughs> I am, I don't even know what I am. I am. Okay, the old function is still there, we can get rid of that. And now, actually, in the slice, there should be something. This is what I said. And here, Discord user. It's a bit annoying that we have these user IDs and then the name and you have to translate back and forth. It happens a lot if you make Discord bots. We could like make a string out of both, like the ID plus the username, so it's easier to find stuff. Okay, now let's just uh, recall that information. Um, we should mm, make this a bit better because this is it's not so easy to find. Let's let's say this Discord user height is okay. And then we look for this information, and if we have it already, we say, I know your height, I don't have to ask. Uh, look up. Who is that, Tim, what? I should rate, why should I rate someone else? With my three viewers, or what, I don't know. Oh, great growth hacking strategy. No. No time for that, I think. Known height. Mm. If we have a known height. I know that you are, I know that your height is known height, and talk to the user. All the strategies I have to learn. I don't want to learn anymore. <laughs> I make my own strategies on the fly. Hey, Giraffe. How tall are you? I forgot because we changed the internal syntax. I am one meters. Oh, and take out the other one, I think. Take this out for now. And then, hey giraffe. Mm. 
yeah there we go it knows my height This is not so good. Hey, my name. Uh, only if the name. Okay, I get it. Let's just make this uh, add thing work. Place prefix. Just replace. Can't make complex things before simple things. Probably I used the replace function wrongly. Okay, one last thing here. Whatever. Why do people always try to tell me what I should do first? I mean, I have the plan for AI. <laughs> you can make your own AI if you have the plan. Hey, giraffe. Simplified hey giraffe. Why does it not react? That is crazy. Also, this input mask. I mean, I, mean, I could just use the other editor. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let it, let's uh, return the link to the slice if people want to see the database. Uh, oh, I'm still using the other editor. <laughs> okay, here. If Let's say if it contains my name and there is another word, namely database or slice, 
or AGI blue. Then we return link to link to slice, slice ID, link to slice. Nope. Link. Uh, I don't even know, whatever. Da, 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 da. Link to slice. Or slice home URL. Link to slice is fine. Slice ID. Good. Kino X Kinox T O uh -huh. My database is here. Was it from handwriting or from speech recognition? Okay, I think that's the last thing for this stream. I need to stream every day and stream, what, uh, eight hours in total? For rising, for raising my level on Twitch. And I need more viewers, I guess. Okay. Uh, yo, 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 draft database. Yeah. Good. Streamer fame is coming. <laughs> 